Hey guys, so uh, today I'm going to be talking about setting up uh, PlayStation ROMs with RetroArch and Emulation Station. If you don't currently use Emulation Station, don't worry about uh, the stuff I say about that. Uh, if you're interested to learn more about it, I have another video called "Emulation: uh, Setting Up Emulation Station in Windows. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have RetroArch installed. If you have that done, then good. And the next thing you're going to want to do is get PlayStation BIOS files. And you can either dump these from your own PlayStation or you can find them on the internet. Uh, so if you know how to use Google, then you can get them off the internet. I'm not going to link to them just because I don't want to. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to need three of these BIOS files. You don't need all of them. Uh, and that's 5500. 5501 and 5502 and if you'll notice I don't have 5501 I couldn't find it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this 1001 into 5501 and the same thing goes for 5000 if you don't if you can't find that and you can find 1000 you can rename it to 5000 if you have the 1002 you can rename it rename it to 5502 so what I did was I put those in my RetroArch system folder right here um, if they're named funny, uh, rename them so they look like this, just SCPH and then the number. And once you've done that, then you're good to go. Um, and this, uh, I, I haven't tested it. I'm not sure if RetroArch actually has other cores for PlayStation 1, but I use the Mednafen, or however you say it. That's the, the core that I use. Um, so once you've done that, then you're good to go. You can, you can use... Um, you can use your PlayStation ROMs. Um, if you're using Emulation Station, uh, if you're not using Emulation Station, that's really all you need. If you are using Emulation Station, then you're going to need to add this into your uh, systems config file, um, which I'll put into Pastebin, which you might need to make some changes to it to make it work with your setup. Um, or you can check out my other video, setting up Emulation Station with Windows, so that this makes more sense to you. Um, now, with PlayStation ROMs, uh, you're going to get bin files and Q files. You're going to want to open up the Q files. You're going to need the bin file and the Q file, but you're going to want to locate the Q file in this little extension part. So right now, I'm going to launch. Um, I'm going to launch a ROM through Emulation Station. So you'll see uh, Mednafen opened up. It's showing the the startup screen for PlayStation. And it, there's sound too, you just can't hear it because it's coming out of my headphones. I'm just going to let it play so you can see that it works. All right, so as you can see, the game is working. Uh, I don't have a controller set up right now, so I can't. I don't really know how to play PlayStation with a keyboard, but um, it's working. So really, that's all you need to do. It's it's really simple to get this set up. Once you know which BIOS files you need, it's. I mean, it's really just copy them over, and you're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions, comment uh, below, and I'll, I'll try to help you out. Or you can. Uh, or you can send me a message through YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be putting up a lot more videos related to emulation, emulation station, retro arc, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and uh, let me know what you think of the video.